I know oh. you like that. How long you been back, man? What is up, all my beautiful people? It's me, the Inave from the Nave Fam, coming to you right now from McFarland, California, here in Kern County. Now, Annabelle and the kids, yep, they're still out in Las Vegas. If you've been following along, you see that we're currently making a transition out of Vegas and back into Kern County. You want to check that out? Take a look back two videos. You'll see us kind of explaining what's going on. And while you're at it, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. That way you can keep track of where we're going and what's happening with us. I managed to stop by number one, Tembler Brewing with Mental Brew and Friends, and they did the Bob Marley birthday celebration. So don't go anywhere, stay right there. And wait for us to come back. So good morning everybody. It is February 14th. I'm literally just waking up, uh, but it's Valentine's Day. I want to do something nice for my mom, and I know as dumb as this sounds, but like uh, my mom likes old school coffee makers, like a Mr. Coffee, and hers has lasted as long as it could and it just stopped working. One, I, re I really want some coffee. Two, I want to get her something nice, and it's Valentine's Day, so why not? So I'm gonna run to Walmart, pick up my mom a Mr. Coffee, because there's not much else to do in like McFarland and Delano area. I can't get no chocolate and stuff for my mom because if I get my mom like a bunch of chocolate, I'll totally fuck her blood sugar levels up and my dad's I'll probably put them in a hospital or some sort. So a coffee maker is probably the safest bet. So let's go find a coffee maker. And here we are. We don't need nothing fancy. We just need something that makes perfect sense yeah those are all too expensive look at that just a coffee maker maybe this one I gave my mom our gifts she was super happy um, talked to Annabelle for a bit she's out in Vegas you know we said happy Valentine's Day Yesterday I went to go buy some new clothes for work, you know, and uh, so I went to a couple shops. Number one, it's either overly expensive and I didn't really want to spend that, or two, it basically was designed for like a tiny, like 120 pound kid, and I just body shamed myself into these shirts. So I am feeling really depressed for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a run because clearly my ass needs to get back out, do the road work, um, and just stay focused.
So in the year 2000, might have been 2001, I remember getting together with one of my best friends and we gathered several graffiti artists out of Bakersfield, California and got permission to do this entire wall. So it's been like 22, 23 years since they did the walls. They've changed, people tagged on it. Some people tried to do some other stuff on it, but I'll show you the pictures of when it was originally done. Pedro, Pedro the human. Props to him, he's out on Long Beach. Find him if you need him. I am a zombie, your wish will come at me. Life as I fall to my knees. Bring it back, sing it back. Bring it back, sing it back to me. Bring it back, sing it back. Bring it back, sing it back to me. So the run is all complete. I'm all done. Done, got my workout on so I can try and not be, you know, out of shape and fat. Because, you know, I'm like 42 and I'm not thin. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So, um, I bought a new battery for this amazing little whip here. I mean, this car's gonna die someday and, and never return. I'm positive. It's, I'm like, I'm gonna ride this bitch until it dies, you know, like. And then that's it. I'm not going to keep it. I'm not going to try and redo this car. This was a work car. I'm surprised I made it all the way back from Vegas to Kern County with it. But nonetheless, I'm going to swap out this battery. Pretend that I am mechanically inclined because I'm not. Uh, usually I have to call my little brother to do everything for me. But I got uh, to man up and change my car battery. It's pretty simple. I should just figure it out. You know, so. All right. Let's get mechanical. Okay, so... I figured out how to change the battery, but I'm gonna need to use a kind of ratchet like this, which I wasn't expecting, but um, I'm gonna have to see if it works. Well, apparently down there, you gotta like, get that bolt up and then change the battery. So, let's keep learning. So apparently I did it. Apparently I do have uh, my Mexican instincts of mechanical engineering. Uh, it took a total of one wrench and a ratchet. So, that's the best I got. I don't know how to change my oil. Forgive me. Oh, I here before, but I'm probably left at that. But, the car battery changed. So, Valentine's Day. Annabelle got flowers yesterday. I have one gift for her, but she hasn't seen it yet. So, cool. But, I just answered the door. And it looks like she sent me something. Although, also, I should say that my beautiful daughter sent me a letter, which was an awesome way to kind of like start Valentine's Day. So my little Alani wrote that. She drew little pictures on the back. And I want her to keep writing me letters every week. So I feel this is going to help her so she can keep learning, she can keep writing, she can get her penmanship up because in the schools they pretty much just type everything and fill out little bubbles it's all tests so for her to keep writing to me number one it makes me feel so much happier and two it's gonna help her in the long run but let's see what Annabelle got me okay so address to me let's see what we got all right let's see what Annabelle scooped up I am seeing what looks to be like, I don't know what it is. All right, I don't know what this is. It looks pretty fluffy. What the fuck are those feet? I don't know what this is. This is a, uh... <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't have a clue what this is. All right. I don't know what that is. All right, hold on. Okay, I have no idea what the heck this is.
right, y'all, so we are on the way to Bakersfield today because my laptop is no longer functioning. Without my laptop, I can't make videos, so I'm gonna take a trip out to Bakersfield, find a repair shop, and see if they can get this bad boy running. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can catch any footage of the uh, the blossoms. I know it sounds weird, but the uh, almond orchards for miles around here hit this blossom time, and it's absolutely beautiful. Like, there's some things in the Central Valley that people don't realize is here, and one of them is definitely the the almond blossoms um lots of photographers will come down and take shots i'm gonna see if i can get some footage so everyone sit right there let me see what i can find for you guys today so ain't this some shit so change the battery which was definitely needed because that battery was like six years old probably older than that but apparently the alternator was bad because this car is fucking dead that's life, right? I gotta move like 300 while, miles away from my kids and my wife and just keep getting hit with different things all the time. So, needless to say, I'm pretty frustrated by it. But thank God that uh, I put the like roadside assistance and towing on my insurance because that's the whole reason why you do it because you don't expect this stuff to happen. But, just my motherfucking luck. Gotta come and get my fucking car. I managed to get the car fixed. That was a bummer. Luckily, it was nothing crazy or too serious. I was really worried there. It's towards the end of the month now, and Annabelle and the kids have stopped by just for a quick, literally a quick visit. They're coming by for one or two days. So we're going to grab some food to Maui Pho. Um, there was nothing crazy. We just wanted to try and spend at least a couple nights together before they have to head back to Vegas. But... I did manage to eventually get back out and I got some of that footage of the almond blooms for you guys. And I'm not joking, if you've never had a chance to come out to the Central Valley, you gotta come see it. So here's a look at just the kids stopping by, a little bit of Maui Pho and those gorgeous almond blooms. So it's Friday night and I haven't eaten this fucking place in like 12 years, guys. 12 years. So I am gonna eat me some Maui Pho on Ming Avenue. Annabelle and the kids are here. Let's get some food. Let's eat. So that's 
pretty much a wrap for February. Um, I can tell you this much, I am definitely gonna make a little surprise visit to go see Annabelle and the kids. And I am for sure bringing the camera. I'm for sure gonna take you guys along so that you can just kind of see more of our adventures and more of how our family's trying to stay connected while we're doing this crazy transition. So I'm gonna get that footage to you as quickly as I can, but thanks so much for tuning in here. Remember, one more time, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We are the Nave fam. You guys, stay blessed, stay beautiful.